Hello, Bees Bladers. Welcome back. Welcome newcomers to the channel. I have a new budget blade to share with you guys and gals today, and I hope you're having a fantastic day, and I'm going to try to not break the box because you never know when I'm going to give do a giveaway. By the way, I do giveaways every Friday night. Bees Blades live at the hive. All right. You don't want to miss it. We'll talk about it more maybe here in just a second. This is a knife that's under 30 bucks because I have a discount code that stacks on top of this and it's going to be 50% off. Yeah, that's right. So whenever I get, I, whenever I learn about a knife that you can get for like 28 bucks, I'm like, oh yeah, let's do it. Because you know what? We got to get, get some more budget knives on the channel, baby. This is the X-Took SX603. Would you look at it? Just look at it and all of its loominess. <laughs> I'll clean it off here in just a second. Very nice looking green micarta. Now, I will tell you this. I'll give you a little bit of texture vision, but there is no palpable texture. You cannot feel it. It is very slick, very smooth. And I don't know if this has a D-shaped pivot or not. You never know. If the, I don't know if that's going to be a fixed pivot. And let's see. We have a nice big flipper. The jipping is not too bad. A little bit of dicky dick going on. You ready to see this blade? Pow! Right in the kisser. Ooh. Very nice. Nice looking knife. Now let me wipe it off. I don't want to get looby doob all over the place. Ooh, this is a nice. Oh, yeah, check it out. 14C 28 amp, baby. So, yeah, uh, <laughs> I'm, I'm looking. I'm going like this. I can't find the liner lock because this is a button lock. Here's a look at your button. The button does stick out. We'll see if my hand is going to hit the button at all when we check out the ergos here in just a second. But going all the way down, taking a quick tour, it does have a green micarta backspacer. And you do have a nice spot for a lanyard for all you lanyard lovers. It is not a reversible clip. However, it does have a deep carry clip that's inset into the liner. That is major. So we're looking at Micarta 14C 28 in. It's a button lock for under 30 bucks. How does it feel? No movement left to right, up and down. I do have slight one out of 10. I can feel a little tad of movement. Um, if I do it lightly, I can't feel it. I have to really twerk it. <laughs> no, I do not twerk. I have to really twerk it to get it to move just a little bit. Oh, 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 okay. So the action's very good. Let me give you a little bit of acoustics while we're at it. So it is extremely, extremely smooth. It is drop shutty. I like it. It has decent blade retention. I'm getting a little bit of bounce, but it's holding itself in. It's holding its own. Now, you know the size of my hand, right? I had somebody in a recent video said, would you quit telling us the size of your hand? So just a quick explanation. The reason I do that is because there are people, this is the first knife video they've ever watched, or it might be the first time they've ever seen my channel. And you, most of you who watch a lot of my videos, or you're always here, you watch every video and you comment, you hit the thumbs up button, you know the size of my hand. So you're used to just hearing that 10 seconds of me saying it. But other people don't know, and they want to they wanna get a good idea. Is that knife going to be big? Is it small? That's why we do size comparison. So my hand is four inches from here to here, three and a half from here to here. And from the bottom of my palm to the tip of my middle finger is seven and a quarter. And let's see how she feels. Ooh, ooh, very nice. Very, very nice. Giving it a little bit of the B squeeze. I'm not getting any hot spots. I can feel the pocket clip, but it's not hateful. It's not hateful. It's not even warm on the, the cold to warm. A hot, hot spot would be if it really digs into my hand, but it doesn't. I could just tell it's there and let's, oh yeah, this is going to be a nice knife for push cuts. Now on the inside, I will say this, see this edge right here. It would have been really good if they were able to chamfer off this edge, because I am feeling that it's very 90 degree-ish. They chamfered off a big section, but they could have maybe rounded this off just a little bit. That would have made the ergonomics a little more comfortable. They're all they're already pretty comfortable. Now, looking here, you do not have a sharpening tool. Your plunge grind dead ends right in there into the heel of the knife. So you, you might get a little smile, but this is a more budget-oriented knife. So you're not that's not something you're gonna be concerned with. Operating with the left hand. It works just fine. It's ambidextrous. It's just not necessarily with the pocket clip. But if I have a knife like this that I can't reverse the pocket clip, I put it in my back left pocket. I'm right-handed, but I use both hands with knives and with a lot of things. I'm not ambidextrous, but somewhere in that vicinity. But I just carry it in my back left pocket. That way, I don't have the knife open on me. Doing a little quick size comparison for you. This is the QSP Penguin, baby. The button lock QSP Penguin. And I love the Penguin, but boy, I'm really crushing on the button lock. And here is the Civivi Elementum 2 button lock. 
Yeah, it's pretty much in that in that size range. Same length blade. It has a little higher blade, but you're you're right in right in that sweet spot. Here is the CJRB Pyrite, another new classic that so many people have. So that's three knives that a lot of folks have. That'll give you a good idea of the size of this knife. So the the finish on it is very nice. The, the action, the ergos, everything is very good. I get a tad movement up and down right there. And then the ergos are just a tad sharp, not much, just a tad on the inside right here along that edge. But for an everyday carry, I think this is gonna be a good one. This is, this is definitely going to be good. And for the price, you can't beat that with a stick. Under 30 bucks for this knife, can we reverse flick it? You can reverse flick it but there's not much room to get your finger. You saw I slipped off. There's not a whole lot of room to get your, your finger back there. If you really like to do the reverse flick, you might be able to, yeah, you can use your index finger. Now that, those are very nice thumb studs. They have, a, they have enough, I don't know if I can get you to see, they have a nice grab to them. They're not aggressive, but they do grab your finger so you don't slide off. That's very nice. Look at this, pow, that is very nice snap. So that is the X took. SX603, and I'll have links in the description and in the comment section where you can go check it out, maybe get some specs or some, some more things like the weight and things like that. And by the way, it is very lightweight. So tell me what you think about it. Is this the next one in your collection or do you have another one? Come and check us out at the live stream. We have a lot of fun. Now go watch this video. You're really gonna enjoy that. And until I see you in the live stream or the chats or right after you hit the thumbs up for this video, remember, live life in the present, Keep a Band-Aid handy and don't cut yourself.